and I was I just couldn't believe what we cared a lot about North Korea actually was about the dictator's hairstyle. And I mean, how could you know his hairstyle can make the front page of newspaper? And all you care is like what his wife is wearing, where his wife is coming from, and how fat he is. All those, <laughs> like really, not very substantial things. And that really made me think the whole world forgotten about my people, even the history forgot them. When I came to America, I heard that we as human beings had been to the moon, and I couldn't believe. I mean, if we have technology to go to the moon, if we have the curiosity and energy to go to Mars now and explore the universe, I mean, why not North Korea? It's in our planet. We don't even know our planet yet fully. You don't know the 25 of millions life. We haven't discovered yet. But why the world is so not curious about this situation? And then I realized, because of the dictator, he didn't only control the information of people inside North Korea, but he controlled our information as free people. He controlled us not to go in the country, see the real lives of people, so we didn't we couldn't get to hear sto like real people's stories. And now, like myself, I sometimes forget that I'm not actually yet fully free person yet. Because when I speak up, the dictator in North Korea still doesn't like me. And <laughs> he threatens my relatives. My neighbors being threatened because of speech that I'm giving right now. And then, People, my defector fellows, they come out, they speak out, they try to free the country, and they get the assassination attempt, or sometimes they get killed. They get shot, and they get uh, beaten in China, and they get killed like that. So this is a real, real thing happening. So it's a lot harder for North Korean defectors to have a voice, even after the escape, because of the risk of their family have to take and the physical risk they have to bear.